In this video we'll show you how to output Polyboard's workshop document. This includes the drawings, cut list, plans and a material and cost report. You can create this document from within cabinet mode but there are a few extra options in project mode so we're going to print it from there. So we're in project mode now and I've opened up a sloped wardrobe model. Let's first click on the cabinet dimensions icon here to display external dimensions both here and in the workshop document. Now we're going to go to the file menu and print setup. So the first option we've got here is the company name. We can use our own, that'll appear in the document or we can put the customers in. We can also decide here what to include in the document. Options are a drawing of the project, a list of all the cabinets in the project, in this case we've just got one, the cutting list which we've got ticked here sort by material so the cut list is going to be ordered by material. The other option is for it to be sorted by cabinet. The summary, that's the material and cost report and finally here drawing and tooling of cabinets that shows the plan of each part and the position of the machining. Let's leave everything checked. Up here we've got a partial views option. I'm going to click in there so we can show some extra views in the document. We've got the active view top and front created already. Let's add another one. Click on the plus. Click to rename. I'm going to type in left side. Hit return and pick the left view option here and click OK. These options here modify the material and cost report. We'll look at these another time. And the options at the bottom are printer setup options. You, you can also change the font of the document. Let's click OK and go to the file menu. Now normally we'd go here to print and print the document off on the printer or to a PDF. Let's just click on print preview now just to see what it looks like. So first of all we have a drawing of the whole project, just the single cabinet in this case. Let's click here on this arrow to see the rest of the pages. So here we've got the top view shown there, the front view and we added that left side view. If we carry on we've now got a cabinet list just showing the one sloped wardrobe cabinet that's in the project and then we're on to the cutting list. As I mentioned before this is ordered by material. So here we see each material and for each material we've got the cut list of all the parts. We have some more panel materials here and here is the cutting list for the bar materials. This is the material and cost report showing all the material we've used, panel bar edging and also details of all the fittings, the hardware used and total costs for it. We'll go into that in more detail in another video. I click on now. I've got just for the sloped wardrobe. If there were more units in the project we'd see those as well but we've just got the sloped wardrobe here, the internal dimensions and we've got two views there. I'm going to actually close this, double click on the sloped wardrobe to get into cabinet mode and go file print setup there. So we can print out the workshop document from here as I said before but there's just a few more options in, the, in that project mode. But here you've got a cabinet multi view option. Let's click there. That's where I set up those two views with the internal dimensions. Um, we can show four for example and specify a view for each. Let's keep it on two horizontal and the bottom one view angle front. Click OK. The other thing I want to show you is the tooling setup. This defines the method of displaying the coordinates for the machining. When we look at each part in a minute, we suggest you just keep it like this. Let's click OK. OK again. I'm going to close cabinet mode and I'm back in project mode. Let's go to print preview again. We can click on this button here to get there a little bit quicker. And let's get back to where we were. So here are those two views that are actually defined in cabinet mode. If we carry on, the last part of the workshop document are the pages showing each part in turn. The machining is shown and the coordinate here for the exact position of the machining. Exact dimensions of each part is shown. That We've got edging on this side is shown as well. This is the edging material. And we've got a sloped wardrobe. So some of the parts actually have a cut angle on them. The exact number of degrees of the cut is shown here as well. I can click through just a few more of the parts. 
So that's your workshop document. If you want to print the 3D view, you can go into the 3D window and well, we could go file print. Let's just look at print preview. So you've got a 3D view print out there. Final point to make, we also recommend using a screen capture software. Lots of them are free to get any on-screen image you want. You can zoom in on a specific feature, for example, and you can send that to your customer or the assembly team. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.